So what's going on guys, now as you've all seen in the past videos, you've noticed this background. Look at it, it's a bit different to my normal one from home. And basically, as most of you guys know, I'm at university, I'm studying sport development and coaching science, that means I'm a clever clogs. And it is indeed time for a brand new flat tour, slash room tour, slash setup video. You know the drill, I'm going to switch to another camera just so it's easier for me to uh, show you around the place. And yeah. Let's get this tour underway. So here we are guys, I'm now on the other camera, the light shining in my face. And if you do wonder what it's like to uh, like look at the camera from my perspective, every time I film a video, this is pretty much what I'm looking at. I'm gonna turn the light off just for you guys. All right, look, there I am. I get to see myself there. I've got the Canon 700D with its standard lens. The microphone I've got is a Rode mic. I've got it up here, because I don't actually know which one it's called. It's, there you go, if you ever want on Amazon, that's what it's called and then just a standard LED light. So this is the actual view I have when I'm playing FIFA. I normally have the camera either that side or that side so it doesn't like obstruct my view, but this is the view. So I've got my laptop there, TV there, it's a 32 inch Samsung I think it is. And behind there, look, somewhere in the mist of wires. Oh, where it is? There it is. That's the Elgato Game Catcher HD which I use to record. Out here, this is the view from my bedroom window. What a lovely view that is. Nice building, but over there, get some pretty goddamn good sunsets if you don't mind me saying. Now taking a step back from my desk, this is what the entire desk looks like. Look, you've got a bin down there, which is a very big bin. I actually think it's like 50 litres. Couple bags for uni, a fan because this room gets extremely hot. Uh, I've got my tripod over there, the Xbox One. Hey, look, this is what I'm going to be learning about next lecture. If you have any of you are interested, critical and feminist theories within sport. Yep, but yeah, this is what the entirety of the uh, desk area looks like. There's a printer down there, my Mac, my speakers, a little lamp, a dirty clothes basket. They are clean clothes. And up here, some French Pringles, if you remember me buying them from Paris, haven't eaten them. Some swagalicious glasses, all of this stuff. And then I've got my camera bag up there for all my equipment. And this, this is the wall of dreams. Look at it. A map so I can work out where I want to plan my next adventure. A to-do list. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, some holiday stuff, some important documents. And this is my view. Look, look at me spinning around in my circles. Oh, what's that? Is that my bed? Should we have a look at my bed? Look, there it is. We got some clothes because I'm going to go home this evening. I've got a nice big tea pillow because what's my name? Theo. Yeah, it is. Got my phone charging, got a wallet, some nice little photos of me and Janine and like family and all that. Jim Jam Jom. <laughs> Look at it, there we go. And then you come down here, and this is the entrance, and if I turn around, this is what you're greeted with. So you can see, like, all of this, and then you've got some shoes and some dirty washing. And you've got a nice big wardrobe. Shall we have a look inside? What's... Oh, bloody hell, Fear, you've been keeping your clothes nice and neat, haven't you? Got a couple of footballs down there, because it's important, you know, keep playing sport. And then in this door you have... Wait, ready for the sound, because it might be a bit fanny. Mm -hmm and the light comes on, look at that, just like magic. Oh, is it flashing? There it is, and this is all like some stuff, some like girl stuff, which isn't mine obviously, and you've got a towel, England towel, my shower, very nice shower. It's just a basic bathroom really, look. I've got two mats because this one under here, look how soft that is, you can't even feel it. Anyways, it's a memory foam mat, which is pretty good. And I've got another one to, you know, soak up the old water. But yeah guys, this is my room I am staying in till I think like July or June for the entirety of uni. It's pretty nice to be fair, I've got a nice little double bed, four foot bed actually. And I like, I actually, I actually sort of like, I'm not gonna lie, I prefer my set up here than at home. It's just so more like, I don't know, I like it better and yeah, basically I'm just saying I like it better. But anyways, it is time to leave my room and explore the rest of the flat. So what we're gonna do, all right, we're gonna unlock my door, boom. Come round here. Oh, the lights are off. Hello. Should we have a look in door three? Yo. Yo. Whose room is this? Oh, hello. Recognise Ben from the other vlog? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Coming. Did you just have a quick tidy up? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, playing FIFA. Pretty much, pretty much everyone in this flat's got freaking Xboxes, so we can all play like pro clubs and stuff. Yeah. Let's go to the next room. That's the entrance to our flat, which is pretty cool. What's in here? See number four? Oh, no one's in there. Someone's in there, but they're asleep. Shall we have a look at number six? No one's in there either. 
Going number seven. And everyone's in seven. Oh, there's some legs. Hello. Hello. Who, who are you? I'm Dom. Hello, Dom. What are you doing? Who is this? Oh, Dom the Pimp is teaching people to play GTA. Oh my god. Jazz, what's your name? <laughs> Emily, what's your name? <laughs> Emily, what's your name? <laughs> okay, I've turned the camera off now, Emily. Do you promise? Yeah, I promise. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. See. See that? I did a Casey hand. And then this is the moment where it gets real, alright? This is the moment when you come into the kitchen and now the thing is, I was going to tidy it for you guys but I thought, you know what, I'm not going to tidy it especially for the video. I'm going to show you what a real university kitchen is like, okay? Now, all I'm, all I'm saying is don't judge. Look at the state of that. Now Dom, I'm pretty sure you can vouch for us. Has it been tired in this in the past? Yeah, it has. All the girls tidied it at one point. Uh, not just the girls. Yeah. I think I spent a few hours tidying it as well. You look. Oh, look at me. I'm climbing up on the ceiling so I can show you the whole entire kitchen. You've changed the bins a few times. Yeah, the bins get filled quite full. Filled quite full? They get full quite quick. There we go. It's quite a nice kitchen, really. It's quite big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's all right. And then the best bit, it's not really the best bit, jump down here. It's the worst. It's a sort of the same view as my window. <laughs> but no, you come over here and in the evenings, this sky gets pretty purple and pretty sick, doesn't it? Well, yeah, look, that is sort of the end of the tour. I'm just going to run down here because, look, here we go. I've got one more thing to show you. If you ever need to, like, to spy on anyone, go through here, look. Got one of these. It's like we're at some kind of, like, crazy hotel. We can spy on the people outside. But yeah, that is sort of the end of the tour. I'm gonna switch back to my main camera now. And here I am, back on the main camera, ladies and gentlemen. That was pretty cool, wasn't it, really? Now, but seriously, living by yourself and with like a bunch of mates is cool, but it honestly, it makes you have to grow up. Like, you gotta do your own washing, you gotta cook for yourself. If you don't cook for yourself, you just don't eat, basically. And if you don't do your washing, you live in dirty clothes. But you learn lessons, eh, from living by yourself. But if you have enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up for an amazing flat tour, yay! It's not really amazing, it's a university accommodation halls. But yeah, as I said, if you have enjoyed it, guys, give it a thumbs up and comment down below whether, you know, you're excited to live by yourself, you're nervous, you don't know whether you don't know what to think. That didn't really make sense, did it? But yeah, leave a comment anyway. Let me know, you know, what you think of the place and I'll see you on Tuesday for episode something of Malfoy vs. The World. So until then, I will see you later. Bye. But one thing before I do actually go guys, sorry I forgot to mention it in the video, let me know if you want me to start doing like weekly vlogs or like I'll record little snippets of what I get up to each week just to like give you an insight of what uni life is and like daily life for me is. But yeah if you could let me know that would be greatly appreciated and I hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.